interpreted. One group thinks that commuters should start using the river instead. And they're calling it the Frog Ferry, and they're presenting the idea to the Oregon Transportation Commission this week. Well, we want to know how this at all works. So Trevor Alt went out to find out. Trevor. Hey, Dan and Jennifer, good afternoon. It's a pretty simple idea. Frog Ferry would take commuters along the Columbia and the, uh, the Willamette, the natural infrastructure of the region, as a way to avoid some of this traffic which has been building and building, as we all know. Now, this is still in its early stages, but the plan would be to use these ferries that could take as many as close to 600 commuters and then shuffle them onto these boats equipped with bike racks, though not car storage. At first, it would just run between Vancouver and downtown Portland, but assuming demand is met, they would introduce eight or more stops on the Willamette. They would even stretch out the routes as far as Lake Oswego and Troutdale. The, the estimate is that they could eliminate 500 cars per commute. That's the equivalent of three and a half miles of congestion on I-5. And the people that I talked to who know the area well seem to be on board with the plan. I think it's worth a try. I'm, I would like to know more about the cost of it. Sure. Uh, but I think anything's worth a try at this time. It's, it's really getting ridiculous. Well, we also wanted to know about the cost. We found out the plan to finance the Frog Ferry is a long way from being finalized, but we know it would be a joint public and private enterprise. The founder and president sent me a statement that said at this point they are just exploring if a commuter ferry is feasible, but they are talking with several public and private entities to try to make this a reality, and they've gotten some encouragement from Governor Brown and Mayor Ted Wheeler. They're going to be informing the Oregon Transportation Commission on Friday about the plans and what they are hoping to do, and then they said they're going to have a more formal announcement later this month. The hope, tentatively, is to have Frog Ferry up and running by the summer of 2022. Reporting live this afternoon from Vancouver, Trevor Alt, Coin Six News. They have these pedestrian-only ferries in Seattle. Very interesting. Thank you, Trevor. Mike.